In this video, we'll look at whether zinc nitrate, that's ZnNO3-2, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the entire compound is an ionic compound. But when we look just at the bonds between the nitrogen and the oxygen in the nitrate, this NO3 polyatomic ion, the bond between the nitrogen and oxygen atom, those bonds, they'll be covalent. So if we look at zinc on the periodic table, it's right here. That's a metal. And then the nitrogen and oxygen, here's nitrogen, here's oxygen. Those are nonmetals. When we have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. And with an ionic compound, we should think about the charge on each of the ions. So let's look at zinc. Zinc is a transition metal. So in general, transition metals, we have to look at what they're bonded to to figure out the charge. But zinc is an exception. Zinc always has a 2 plus ionic charge. The nitrate ion, this is one you should remember, the whole nitrate ion has a 1 minus charge. We have two nitrate ions. So we have 2 minus charge here, 2 plus, they balance out, net charge is 0. So we have these ions that have opposite charges, the zinc ion and the two nitrate ions. Because they have opposite charges, they'll attract and they'll form that ionic bond. Let's talk briefly, though, about the nitrate ion. We said nitrogen, that's a nonmetal, and then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. So when you have a nonmetal plus a nonmetal, that's going to give you a covalent bond, also called an ionic bond. So the bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms, those bonds, they're going to be covalent. But overall, because we have the positive zinc ion and then the negative nitrate ions, the compound is going to be ionic. This is Dr. B answering the question whether zinc nitrate, ZnNO32, is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.